welcome to the first episode of the Marxism Today podcast. My name is Nate, and I'll be your host for this series of podcasts. In this first episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about the reasons for doing this podcast. My main reason for doing this podcast is to give you an understanding of how to see the world from a Marxist perspective. There are all different ways to see the world. For example, you're probably familiar with the liberal and conservative ways of seeing the world. You know that a liberal person and a conservative person are going to see the same issue very differently. They're going to focus on different parts and they're going to have different values that they bring to that issue. For example, in the abortion debate, a liberal is going to look at that issue and say, well, we really need to focus on the rights of the woman and she needs to have control over her own body. Where a conservative is going to say something like, we need to focus on the rights of the unborn child and we can't do anything to violate the rights of that unborn child because that child has done nothing wrong. You can see that by focusing on different things, you're led to different conclusions or you are enlightened on the topic in a different way. I'm not here to say one of these ways is right or wrong or even if the Marxist way is right or wrong. What I'm here to do is show you how you can use Marxist analysis to give you another way to see the world. So if you're already familiar with the liberal and conservative way to see the world, then you can add a third way, a Marxist way to see the world. And from these different ways of viewing the world on any given topic, you can choose which one makes the most sense to you. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I should say that I consider myself a Marxist, and I generally approach the world from a Marxist understanding because I think it is a very good way to see the world. I think it opens up a lot of things that are hidden when you use only a liberal or only a conservative point of view. The Marxist point of view will show you things that those two point of views often hide or ignore. So for example, when I'm talking to someone who's not a Marxist, I often already have a pretty good idea of the things that they're going to say in the conversation because I know and I understand a large part of the liberal and conservative way of seeing the world. So these are point of views that I've seen on TV. I've talked with people, friends, my parents, classmates, teachers who have had these points of view. But, on the other hand, the people who I'm talking to have very rarely ever thought of things the way that I see them. So, I'm, of course, bringing a Marxist perspective to the table, but they've never thought about the issue in that way. And they often find that it opens up something that they've never thought about before, that it's a very interesting way to see the topic, and that it shows them something that they hadn't seen before. Before we move on, I'm going to give you another disclaimer. Not all Marxists see the world the same way. Just like not all liberals see the world the same way and not all conservatives see the world the same way. There's going to be a certain amount of commonality that's going to hold that together as a tradition of thought or a way of thinking. But there are, of course, debates within each one of these communities. And like all the rest, Marxism has its own debates that uh, can get very heated. So I, I'm not providing a hive mind way of thinking or uh, something that can't be challenged because it's constantly being challenged uh, from the inside and of course from the outside, which I'm sure you know. The next thing I want to outline is some of the things, some of the topics that I'll be talking about in these series of podcasts. So the first is going to be Marxist economic theory and Marxist analysis. What are the important concepts in Marxism? How does he come to those concepts? And how can we use those to understand the world? So we'll do a little bit of application as well. This means that we'll be bringing in 
current events or maybe historical events, things like this, to talk about how to understand them from a Marxist perspective. In addition to those, there uh, could very well be things beyond the realm of politics like culture, movies, pop music, things like this, because Marxism has a lot to say about those as any literary critic or uh, someone who's taken a class in literary theory could tell you they've probably spent about a week on Marx uh, learning uh, how to do a very quick and simplified Marxist analysis of literature and movies and pop culture and all of those good things. Finally, I'd also like to include in this podcast some of the responses to common criticisms of Marx and Marxism, because there's a lot of criticisms out there, and uh, I think that it's very important to address those and to say what the real Marxist line is or the Marxist response to them, because it'll be very hard for you to understand how to apply the theory if you have a lot of misconceptions about it. And with that, I will end the first episode of the Marxism Today podcast. Make sure to tune in next time when we start to get into the theory. And I will see you then. Mm -hmm.